What's going on guys, welcome to today's video. Before we jump into it, I just wanna say that Alfley is hiring a brand new full-time employee, so if you think that could be you, skip ahead to this time save on the screen. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. What's going on guys, welcome to today's video. We are currently in North Pole, Alaska. It is currently negative. 19 degrees Fahrenheit. I know I haven't done a video in a little bit. Of, I can't even feel my knot, like the hair on my nose is like, oh, I haven't done a video in a while, but it was just, hey, Heidi's dad, don't mind me. <laughs> I haven't done a video in a while. I'm gonna give you guys a life update this whole video, like I'm gonna sporadically through the vlog. So I want you guys to sit back. I want you to relax. I want you to enjoy this video. My mom's gonna kill me. Let's get started. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Take it so cold. Oh! No! 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 <laughs> a better place to listen to this song. This is where I used to work, pretty much. This is a little coffee, like a coffee hook, just like yeah, that. I worked with the one across the street. Hi, please get an eggnog latte. Together, we Turns out I'm an actual idiot. Here's what happened. Here's what happened, your phone's right here. What? <laughs> what, it stayed on? It stayed what? on. No way, Shut what? Up. No way! As I was recording that clip, the first clip, if you saw, I put my phone over here when I put my yellow shirt on. Freeze Fahrenheit. It stayed on there all the way over here. We were we were turning, going 40 miles an hour. Wow! Shout out to the Apple silicone case. I thought my phone was deep in the snow somewhere. Okay, sick. So guys, uh, I am here at RNN Fitness. This is the V2 gym. We were here last year, but they moved, uh, increased a few thousand square feet. And this is it, here. Look at this, super sick. So I'm actually working out with the owner, Ryan, today. Anytime you're in a cold environment and you don't feel warm, very important to warm up. So we're gonna go do some warm ups. So life update number one. About three weeks ago, Brandon Harding flew down to Texas. We wanted to get to know each other, meet in person, and after our trip, he actually became an official athlete. Athlete, Really great guy, I recorded a bunch. I ended up, long story short, not posting the video because there was some stuff in my video I couldn't show publicly. Some things in that vlog I couldn't show you just yet until next week, it's not like a secret. And then so long went by without posting it, I literally lost the memory card. I feel so bad saying that. I've looked everywhere, I can't find it. But I had Brandon send me all the footage that he had. I stole some clips from his video. This is kind of like a little highlight sort of real thing. He has two videos up on his channel. I highly recommend you go watch them, and if you like what you see, subscribe. So check out this little preview to see kind of what's in store on this channel. Hey, what do we record? Uh, How do we even start this? Just said what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? Christian here. What's up, dude? Well, we gotta sign the wall too before you go. Dude, it's so much bigger. PR. One run max, bro. We're gonna see if we can do this. Let's fucking go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that shit for just one second. Easy. Oh, got thumbnail, bro, this guy. Yeah, yeah. Foreshadowing to tonight. This beats the blue for me. You do it, yeah? Yeah, I love this. It depends, if you like yeah. Mountain Dew. Guess I forgot how to change. Where do you want to sit? Two spicy chicken sandwich. Good night with the mates. With the mates. Uh, feeling a little rough. I never work out on Sundays. No, it's the Lord's day. If everyone goes to the gym, you're bitching like they out. Are, I'm you're, like, you're literally bitching out. Pretty sure everything we sweat is gonna be toxin sleep. Toxin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you both feel about me being enhanced? You guys being natural and me not. You're telling me you think this physique is natural? <laughs> <laughs> you're out of your goddamn yeah. mind. So the other day at Chick Fil A, I was like. All right, today's pre, we have three things that are going to this little concoction. Water bottle, we got ghost pump. We got sour apple right here, pre-workout. Warheads, 
and we got one scoop of BCAs. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another commentary. Before I jump into the workout, I just want to say thank you to Ryan for showing Heidi and I so much love every time we come down to Alaska. If you guys are in the area, North Pole, Fairbanks, and want the most badass gym to check out and go to, then go to r &N Fitness. Uh, Ryan's a really good dude. He served for 12 years in the military, and about three years ago, he started his journey of opening up a gym, and it's awesome just to see the progression. Great environment, great people, and I really don't think you're going to regret working out here if you're in the area. So uh, we're going to hop into this workout really quickly. Today, I did his legs, right? And 335 pounds for three sets of six reps. And you're going to kind of see, it was hard to see the depth on the first set, but you can get a little bit better of an idea here on the second angle. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> working out in this negative 20 degree weather, my knees were aching like really really bad and I, I tried to warm up as best i could you know i did i walked in the treadmill i did my my active warm-ups and i just still didn't feel really warm uh, i didn't have any knee sleeves on but i did the best that i could for the day and after the sets of six three sets of six we moved on to a movement i haven't done in a very long time essentially you get on a lat pull down machine and you're just doing a hamstring curl but you're just lowering yourself as slow as you can and as low as you can and just using your hands to push yourself up, squeeze your hamstring at the top, and continue on. So we did 10 reps here. We did actually four sets of 10 reps, and you would superset that. So as soon as you finish up the hamstring curl, you go over to the leg press, and you do anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. Uh, I think I was falling more in like that 12 to 15 rep range here with four plates on each side, and that was absolutely brutal. After this, we moved on to two more exercises. We did a leg extension and a leg curl, so one hamstring movement and one... Uh, quad movement. So if you're ever training with a partner, what I like to do instead of like adjusting the seat and going back and forth and having to readjust and readjust switching between the machines, I just like to stay on one machine and I'll rest maybe 45 seconds to a minute in between sets and my partner will rest uh, the same amount of time on their machine, just knock out, you know, three, four sets and then go ahead and switch machines and just it minimizes the time you have to adjust the seat and all that, which kind of becomes a pain in the ass. Uh, even on the leg extension, honestly, my knee was hurting pretty bad, but just kind of avoided locking out completely and did what I could. And then I finished off with five working sets of the standing calf raise, which yeah, you can just see the standing calf raise. Go all the way down, pause, pause at the top and squeeze as hard as you can. So that was the workout. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. Looking for a gym, custom meal plans, custom workout plans. Come on in and uh, give us a shout personal out. Personal training, is training? Three personal trainers to include myself. Do competition prep as well. Offer military discount, firefighter, police, senior discount. Uh, so check us out. Cool, man. A lot of people think that it's completely dark in all of Alaska during the winter, and it is completely dark in some places, right? Yeah, so it depends on where you're at in Alaska. Some places there's like literally more than a month of just pure darkness, there's no light. Um, right now, I think we have like three ish. Three, three hours. hours. So, right now, this is like peak sunlight right now, so you can see the sun kind of coming. It almost it looks like evening time, like the sun's going down, but this is actually like the peak light. So, this is going to go away about, in about an hour. <sighs> <laughs> the school bus dropped all these kids. It looks like they're not even cold. Oh, yeah, she's pretty cold. Yeah, she's cold. She run, 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 run! <laughs> Do you like Venom? <gasps> you like Venom? No. No? Go back. He's Venom. Look, is he Venom? Venom. Hey, Jace, can I eat next to you? Can I sit here? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. What are you eating? A banana? Yeah. And what is that? Popcorn. Popcorn. Mm. I just got some chicken and rice over here. Your meal looks better than mine. <laughs> no, you oh. Uh. Uh. Chase, you heard her. Uh. In you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Help. Help. Where's Grandma? No. Okay, <laughs> suck it in. Kimmy. <laughs> hey. Chase, I swear, I'm just trying to put your pants. There we go. Does that hurt your belly? Well, and so when I do it, don't do like a lot of the outside. The thing Instagram chicks do. Go. Stop. Stop, honey. <laughs> All right, so on Monday we did a little athlete restock and we decided to donate a percent of profits to an organization. And we're doing Toys for Tots this year, which is gonna provide a lot of underprivileged kids some Christmas gifts. So that's the goal right here. We're gonna go ahead and fill this out together. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna do my card information, so I'll show you guys <laughs> when we actually donate it, okay? And we're done. So what's so cool about Toys for Tots is the sort of like split that they do. So in bold, not one dollar donated is going to go pay for salaries or any other manpower costs. Ninety six point seven percent of the program is donation. Only two point eight percent in fundraising and zero point five percent overhead. So feels good. This is all you guys. So congratulations on doing that. And yeah, I should do the life update part two. Yay for Christmas. Yay for Christmas. Life update part two. Um, we're here in Alaska, right? But back home, uh, mm -hmm. just like, I, I, I don't like bring the mood down, you know, like at all, but there's just, it, eh, it's eh, not bring the mood down. Not bring the mood, it's just, there's some, not immediate, immediate, immediate family stuff, but there's been some family stuff going on this last, the last two, three weeks. Uh, everyone's doing okay right now, but it's just been pretty, you know, some harder times on the family. So with all that, I haven't been like a hundred percent like excited to, you know, get up and film and kind of do a bunch of videos and yeah. So I've been trying to be there for the family, uh, during these times and everything and hopefully everything will be all right. You know, um, some surgeries, some big surgeries, so, you know, just people, grandparents getting really, really old and stuff. So going through some things and yeah that's it so just trying to be a good son be there and that's been like a lot of where my head's been at for the last few weeks this house behind me is Heidi's brother Bert's and Jessica's new home Good. Good to see you. Good. I love the house. We don't have it done yet. But we have wires up there for the direct lighting to shoot up from the whole thing. So we can too. light our beams up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All subscribers gave us. Really? The subscribers gave you guys these? Subscribers. Look at that. All those subscribers. What's your YouTube channel? Summers in Alaska. Summers in Alaska? You're telling my people right here. Okay, guys, our channel is called Summers in Alaska. Mm -hmm. So go check it out. Link in the description. Link the description. <laughs> <laughs> All of them subscribers, look. That's so cool. Heidi, we got zero Christmas cards this year from subscribers. Okay, start start nicely. <laughs> Gotta warm me up. Punch hard. Uh, Step it. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go punch Mr. Christian. Punch Daddy. Hello. Just chilling. Can we see lights? Yeah. That's coming. Are you coming? Yeah. yeah. There's a room, right? Your car? Your car? Oh, he went. Yeah, there should be a car. I not one seat. Say 20 times. Let's go. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let us keep them out too late because uh, we have to leave at 7.30. Well, they close at 9. Yeah, they close at 9. <laughs> It went from like zero to be boom. We're with that. Trust me. We're Mary. Should I go? Uh, very stressful. Very stressful. <laughs> very stressed. Wait, what, are, what are we trying to go find? McDonald's this way? Where, what are we trying to find, guys? Where's McDonald's? Hello? Uh. <laughs> just keep going straight. We got, we, which, which one off of Johansson? No. Off of airport. Oh, yeah, it is Leave Johansson. Never mind. What are we trying to find, guys? We're doing this. We're going to McDonald's yeah. first? No. We're gonna go to. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> most boring <laughs> vlog ever. Hey, Down go. a dark alleyway. We're gonna go to the dancing lights. The dancing lights. You got the cash. Maybe. Go go go. <laughs> go 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 go. Okay, so we're supposed to tune the radio to oh, nine point one. Oh, okay. Welcome dancing lights. Hey, Ten dollars. Got the video. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm an EDC. <laughs> Day two of the vlog. We are currently. I keep. Hello, my name is <laughs> Christian. What's up, Rio? <laughs> We're at. Oh, I did it again. 
Uh, this is Heidi's mom's work. She is a dental hygienist, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's making me get my teeth cleaned again. She made me do it last year, making me do it this year. We need to twist his arm, but we're getting him back in the chair. I'm here. She's actually doing the whole family today, right? <laughs> yeah. She's like, you guys are doing it today. Like, there's no getting out of it. So, woke up at 7 a.m. We're here. We got a potato, egg, and cheese burrito for breakfast with a hot chocolate And I'm just waiting for my turn to get into the torture device. It's the sweetest drink at the coffee shop and it gets his teeth cleaned. I'm um, brush my teeth before I go on. Right? <laughs> I brush my teeth like six times in the last 24 hours, I swear. I've been yeah. like trying to like make up for. See, it doesn't work like that. Year. People think it works like that, but like you have like buildup over, over days and weeks and months. Well, I'm about to get chewed out. <laughs> I haven't been washing. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it down. You could use that Starlight like care. Oh my gosh. Does it feel like your grabby blanket? Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Hi, buddy. Hello. 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 What's up, you do? Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, that's a good tree. Oh. The coolest thing happened today. Uh, this is Haley, aka Eminem's daughter, and she is rocking out fleet. And her story today. Pretty cool. You're about to meet your niece for the first time. <gasps> I know. Excited? She's the newest one of the pack. Yeah. She's a little Addison. Six months old? Yeah. yeah. She's eight, super cute. She looks like a little cabbage patch doll. Old. She's so fat and brown and is she? soft. We're about to meet her. Can you tell YouTube how you know every kid's name out of... 14, 15? Mom, how many grandkids are there? Well, 14 with Isaac. So 14. Wait, with Addison, the new one? Yep. 14. I have one. One what? Brother. That's it. Oh, I thought you were going to say one niece or nephew. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know about this. You know how you used to joke there's like a secret kid, the one of the sad we're not telling each other about? Yeah. Because I was like... You're too perfect. I was like, you know, I know you have like a wife and seven children somewhere. somewhere else. I do. I'm still waiting for him to break the news to me. Your, who are you? You're not Landon. Oh, yeah. Landon's this tall. <laughs> Just, yep. Hi. Hi. She's like cheese. petite yeah. but tall. Our skin is so. Touch her skin. It's so tall. So like angelic. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh. Hi. Look at, look at over here. Am I holding you right? I'm gonna make her smile. Ready? <laughs> Smiling, I can't see because she's covering my eyes. Ah! <laughs> oh, so cute. Just rip them out. Ah! Uh, do you know how much I pay for these, Addison? Look at that. A little. She does. She's strong, Whoa. right? So strong. Grab it. <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. I want to see if she cries. She's in my beard. Look. She's she's just staring at your your scruff. We got you. I think it's fine. Can't see some tears. We need a cover photo. <laughs> she's literally she staring. Let her know what to do. <laughs> she wins the staring contest. Teeth. All right, so you guys, day three of the vlog. It's currently Christmas Eve, and I'm outside of Heidi's parents' house. There's gonna be 31 people here, like all day today. So I'm just <laughs> gonna wrap this video up, get prepped for that, and have a really good Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. If you're watching this, it's probably past, but um, I wanted to give you guys like a real life update. I'm not gonna fluff anything up or be dramatic. I'm just gonna kind of dive in a little bit more. I know I've kind of like brought a few things up this video, but if you were to ask me like, a year and a half to two years ago what my goal was my goal back then was to actually get to stay home and like work my businesses build my relationships at that time I was traveling so much every week I was doing something I was out of town or I was you know doing like this world tour I, I would be doing meetups and I was saying yes to every opportunity and, but more so because I think I was not scared to say no but I I just wanted to go 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 and you know as a result of that, I feel like I kind of burned myself out. And that was when I was like pumping out four or five videos a week, no matter what, like I was just on it, on it, on it. And with that, 
like I couldn't even, I was out of town so much that I couldn't even have Nala at my house. I, I, I couldn't be home for a week to like actually have her there and get her comfortable. And like, I wasn't seeing my parents much. And even with my businesses, like the gym was not doing anywhere near what it could have been or where even where it is now, now that I've like put my hands in this year and like given it attention of like nurture that baby of a business, right? I've, I've really come into Alphalete with my hands and, and built up the relationships that were needed to be built. I've been there for the employees, like the company is grown so much like just, all the businesses are doing great and my relationships are better than ever and I feel if there's three categories right it's like my personal relationships even you know with, with, with my girlfriend Heidi with with my parents with my brother with with Nala even my, in my employees there's like relationships there's business and then there's like the content creating the go the, the traveling go 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 like I've for 2018 I really wanted to put emphasis on these two and because of that this content thing is been it's been like a reoccurring problem um, my consistency over the last few months really it's kind of taken a little bit of a back seat especially when Nabil's not here um, Nabil I freaking love you bro he's we work so well together Nabil does live in the Netherlands so when he's here I'm able to kind of balance those three better kind of you know like during summer shredded we're real consistent and everything but even like this recent trip he came down for 90 days and we had so much athlete work that I feel like the still this channel kind of lagged and I it's not like it, I know I'm just kind of venting here it's not a laziness thing in my perspective it's back then like, I wanted to focus on these things I wanted to put my attention here and I and shift my focus here for a bit and as a consequence you know I feel like this has lacked but um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm ready to get back I'm ready to bring this back. I feel like I've really, especially the business stuff, I've really sort of set everything up this year. I've done a lot, a lot of things that are gonna be happening here in the next year and coming to fruition. And so I feel like I'm ready to kind of tackle that back on. My relationships are great. I feel like I'm in a really good spot. I'm motivated to just pump this out, but like, the reality is that I still need help. Even if Nabil could be here full time, like it's not just my channel I'm trying to balance. We're, I need help with Alfley. I need help with content with our athletes. We need to go make promos. We need to go and make campaigns, video campaigns, world tours. We need to go film athlete videos. We have new athletes we haven't even brought to, we haven't shown you guys yet. And like, I need more help. So uh, that's kind of that's kind of like my update, you know? it's. There's yeah, there's been a little bit of laziness, but to be honest, I've just been trying to balance my life out, and I'm damn proud of myself for doing what I set out to do a year and a half, two years ago, and putting my focus here and actually doing those things. Um, even though you know, had to sacrifice a little bit, but now I'm ready to bring it back. I'm ready to get some help. I know I always say you need to surround yourself with people that have strong points that can that can that can help you take the load off and. <laughs> <laughs> so with all that said, we are going to be hiring a videographer. Now, Nabil's not going anywhere. Whenever Nabil is in the U.S., we're going to be using him. We're going to have a team, a content team. Whenever he's international, he's still going to be doing videos over there and work over there. But I need someone physically in Houston with me, honestly, full-time. So we're looking for a full-time videographer. Um, and I'm just going to list a little bit of criteria. Number one, you have to live in the U.S. Number two, you're going to have to be able to work out of Houston. So if you live in Chicago or New York, and you're willing to come down here, you're gonna receive a full-time salary. Uh, and if you're willing to make that life change and come down, then this opportunity may be for you. Alphalete content, planning out storylines, filming vlogs, editing. This person's gonna be with me a lot. Um, honestly, like in my head, I'm kind of thinking we may hire one person, we may hire two. We may hire one right now and one in a month or two. Um, but we're ready to build up this team, build up the company, and get back to this channel and the roots of what this channel is. I'm really excited. I'm trying to think of anything else so if you want to submit your application this is how we're going to do it you're going to upload a video to youtube and you're going to title the video alfleet videographer application 2018 so i'll put it right here on the screen title your video that uh, your video should be no longer than five minutes go ahead and show your best work right you can take you know clips you've recorded uh, maybe you've already made like a piece and like like a storyline and and the, the sick edit so upload that and you can go ahead and if you want to you know spend a minute or two talking about yourself um, it, why you think you're you should be chosen for the job uh, that would be great and if I could give any advice to you if you want to apply we're not looking if, if your application is you know literally just a, a gym edit that's not really what we're looking for to be honest I think that the most value 
that we need is someone who knows how to tell a story, someone through video, through filming, uh, someone who can direct and sort of narrate. We need a beginning, we need a message in that video, we need what is a story, there's an intro, there's a build up, what's the message, is it clear, uh, we need to have a, a like a climax, to come to, like there has to be a story when we're planning athlete videos, when we're doing these campaigns, you have to have a message, not just sick angles. And there has to be that X factor. That's like really, really what we're looking for. Um, a great, Nabil is amazing. Matt Como is amazing in his storytelling. If you guys have seen the summer shredding intro videos um, that we've done for the past two years, it's building that story, it's building it up, building it up. And that is what we're looking for. So if you think that could be you, submit your application. Again, up to five minutes of your work, show what you're capable of, say a little bit about yourself, and that's it. We're gonna um, keep this running until maybe January 10th to submit your application, and I'm gonna be looking every single day on YouTube to watch them, so yeah. I think having that help is really gonna help me personally be able to get more content out, just taking a little bit off my plate and understanding I wanna redirect my focus over here now because I feel like I've done a really good job at kind of doing this, the, these two things for the past year. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you all so much and we'll see you in the next one.